Hey YouTube, I'm Tritox. We as a species will one day cease to exist. So will the Earth, our solar system, and the universe. The means of this death are constantly in question, and the majority are theorized to occur far into the future. One of these theories is put forth by the laws of thermodynamics. According to these laws, the universe will end in equilibrium, also known as heat death. Let's start with a common misconception of heat death. One might think that it refers to the death of the universe in a fiery inferno, but rather it refers to the death of differences in heat. Let me explain. Almost everything that exists in the universe has a different temperature, and is affected by this temperature either directly or indirectly. As a simple example, the sun is extremely hot, but at a safe enough distance for humans to thrive on Earth. If this balance of heat were to be disrupted, or at least slightly changed, all life on Earth would die. But how does this far off balance, this thermodynamic equilibrium, happen? That lies with the second law of thermodynamics and entropy. Okay, those probably sound somewhat complicated, but they are in fact quite simple. The second law of thermodynamics states that entropy tends to increase while in an isolated system which simply means there exists some barrier such that the surroundings, whatever's outside the system, cannot exchange matter nor energy with the system itself. For instance, a cube with water in it made from impossibly insulating material is isolated. This does not mean that gravity is not affecting it, the four forces always affect everything everywhere. The point is that these forces cannot provide energy to the system like the box. As for entropy, it is essentially the chaos and order or lack thereof that result from a certain reaction in a specific system, in this case the entire universe. According to the heat death theory, the universe will gradually approach a period of energy's equal distribution. As the universe's age continuously grows and following the second law of thermodynamics, the amount of entropy in a system must always increase and therefore the disorder must also increase. Energy in places of high energy would, consequently, move to areas with less energy. Any reaction that takes place will either result in the products becoming less ordered or heat being given off. As this occurs, all possible reactions would become exhausted and the only energy left would be in the form of heat. This is thermodynamic entropy. Simply put, since the finite amount of reactions in the system of the universe always lead to thermodynamic entropy, all energy would become heat and become distributed evenly. This theory, however, isn't infallible. If the universe were not to age infinitely and end with something similar to the possible big crunch, then thermodynamic entropy would never be achieved. Despite this, the universe's age appears to be endeavoring infinitely, meaning that as energy has more and more space to occupy, it fills in the areas with less energy, creating an equilibrium. In these conditions, the movement of everything would stop and energy would cease to react. Furthermore, there can never be more stuff in an isolated, infinite, ever-expanding universe. There is a finite amount of stuff with an infinite and growing amount of space between the stuff, allowing for events like heat death or the inability for anything to ever touch anything else, etc. Since there is a finite amount of stuff in the universe, eventually all reactions would cease, leading to equilibrium. This is the heat death. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.